Well, hello, I'm back. This is Gloria Harlow Drummond, and um, I was going through uh, looking at some old obituaries in, in, uh, in, in, that I've saved. Um, but anyway, I've got chapter th uh, Genesis chapter 3 here. I'm going to read, uh, in chapter 2, I'm going to read um, verse 21, 21, 22, 20. My mother just read. 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25, and then, then the whole chapter of, of uh, Genesis, okay? Okay, welcome to my channel again. So, my hair is still sticking up. I couldn't do anything with it after I lost some of the curl to it. But that's okay, that's okay. But at least you can see the color. It's really pretty. It's like a light violet. But anyway, that's okay. I'm excited and I'm happy because it got such better lighting out here. Oh, my heavens. It's just so much better. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Chapter 2, we're going to start with uh, the making of woman. We'll get comfortable if I don't lose everything on my Bible. <laughs> okay, being serious now. All righty. Making of woman, chapter or verse 21 of chapter 2. Okay. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. 22, and the rib which the Lord God had made, taken from man made he a woman and brought her into the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. 25, and they were both naked. The man and his wife were not ashamed. Okay, because they were made perfect. Perfect. Okay, now, chapter 3, the fall of man. Here we go. Now, the serpent was more subtle, subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. 3. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, <clears throat> Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Four, and the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God, doth, for God doth know that in the day ye eat it thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Six, and when the woman saw that the tree was, was good, for good for food, and that, is, it, that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did, and he did eat. Seven, and the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons, things to gird about. Eight, and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam, and said unto him, Where art thou? Ten, and he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. Eleven, and he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? How hast thou, how, hast thou eating, eaten of the tree, whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be, to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? Okay. Okay. Oh, I just turned the page. Three. And the woman said, "This the serpent beguiled me, and I did eat." All right. Oh, I'm losing my. That's okay. <laughs> All right, the, the curse. 14, and the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. 15, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto the woman he said, I, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. Pain in pregnancy. Pain in pregnancy. 
in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Curse, cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow thou shalt eat of all, of all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. 19. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return into the ground. For out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living life. And to Adam also and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothe them. Expulsion from the garden. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is, is become as one of us to know good and evil. And now lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from which he was taken. So he drove out of the man, and he placed at the east of the garden of Edom, Eden a cherubim, and flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. And the, the tree of the life, of life. Wow. All right, that's what I, all I wanted to read. That's only six minutes and something. Okay, that gives me time to talk a little bit. Yeah, Robert Morris' uh, uh, message tonight was, was good. It was good, too. But this is what I wanted to... to, to it, was, it was really strange how um, the verses and everything coincides with, with what uh, Jeff Wade said on his uh, post and Nikki's, Nikki's video. Like I said on the other video... The Lord's bringing everything together. He's bringing everybody into one, mind, one mind and one accord. And also, I feel like that I'm going, I'm going to sing. Remember when I said I was going to sing What a Friend We Have in Jesus? So I'm going to try to sing What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Okay. I hope I get the right tunes. I don't want to have to start it over. Okay. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry. It's too low. Okay, now. <clears throat> What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. I hate to have to go down way low like that. <clears throat> All righty. Let's see. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take Get to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrow share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. 
are we weak and heavy laden, cumbered with a load of care? Precious Savior, still our refuge, take it to the Lord in prayer. Improvise. Do thy friends despise, forsake thee? Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms he'll take and shield thee. Thou wilt find a solace there. We're up to almost 11 minutes already. My, 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 my. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, like I said a while ago, I was reading through some of the obituaries that I had clipped out through the years. Uh, and in, let's see, this is May the 3rd. Four more days. It will be three years since Roy Mitchell Taylor lost his wife, Joanne. Liz, I guess he called her Liz, and again, my deepest and most sincere condolences on your loss, Roy, and also um, uh, your son, Patrick, that you lost uh, back in November, I think it was, March and April, almost six months, so yes, I know, I know what you're going through, I know the sadness, the loss, I know, and my heart my heart goes out to you, big time. It goes out to you. So, just remember, I'm here. I'm here for you, Roy. I'm here for you. And, um, like I said, you have a, you do have a friend in Jesus. And he, he will help calm your, your, your tear. He'll dry, help dry your tears. <clears throat> <clears throat> Boy, and he'll give you peace. He'll give you peace, such peace. So that's all I wanted to say on that for tonight. I'll do it another one <clears throat> on the seventh. I need to take a drink of water here in a minute. So it's been 12 minutes and 40, 48 seconds, 49 seconds. So, um, I read Genesis chapter 3, so I hope that you, you all got the gist of all that. I, I hope that you all did, and we know we know good and we know evil. Which path are we going to take? Are we going to take the path to down to, to destruction, or are we going to take the path that leads to Jesus? Because destruction, the path takes us to the bad place, and to Jesus... We will meet him and our loved ones and be taken to heaven. That's what I want. And I know there's a lot of other people that wants the same thing that I do. And we have to be saved. Give our lives over to Jesus. Give our hearts to Jesus. Let him come in. And then he will help strengthen our, 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 our walk, our, our, our walk with him. Okay, so we're up to 14 minutes now. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. So I love you all. God bless you. Welcome to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. And feel free to leave me comments. And you know my email address also. So, alrighty, well, good night for tonight. May God richly, richly bless you. And it would be nice to receive a letter. I don't care if it's even a one-page letter. Just let me know how you're doing, Roy. Let me know how you're doing, okay, please, as a, as a good friend, as your relative, and as someone that you once cared about years and years ago, okay? All righty, okay, bye-bye for tonight, everyone. Bye-bye.